the state of Washington versus Jim Med Haynes. The man police say is responsible for a deadly carjacking waves his right to appear as the first hearing happened. A 2017 Department of Corrections photo shows the suspect, Jamed Haynes, who Seattle police arrested yesterday. He was trying to push her out of the car. Uh, somehow or another, she was uh, uh, partway out of the vehicle as the vehicle backed across the road and crashed into the, the parked vehicles. The calls for help came from Madison Valley on Tuesday when Haynes allegedly took Ruth Dalton's car. Police say there was a struggle. Ruth died after being dragged behind her SUV that was carrying her dog, Prince. Hours later and more than five miles away, Prince was found stabbed to death near Ruth's abandoned vehicle. A fingerprint left behind is what police say helped lead them to Haynes. Uh, the subject has eight prior felony convictions and a uh, history of mental health uh, concerns. Haynes has been in and out of prison for crimes like robbery and vehicular homicide. The state is asking the court to find probable cause for one count of murder in the first degree and one count of animal cruelty in the first degree. Now a new case is getting underway. I would argue that there are insufficient facts in the super form to allow the court to infer robbery. We are going to miss you so much. Back on the street where it all started. She was loved a lot. She was loved a lot. Neighbors remember Ruth as a beloved member of the community who for decades ran a dog walking business. The female patron saint of dogs, for sure. Ruth, I hope all the dogs come running when you get to heaven. Now, prosecutors now have a deadline to file a charging decision by Monday morning. Joyce? You mentioned Haynes' prior felonies. Are any of those cases recent, Natalie? Well, not here in King County. The prosecutor's office says the last time he had a case referred to them before this one was 25 years ago. Joyce? Nellie Swaver reporting in Seattle tonight.